if we want to be a society or a community to get through things together, we cannot leave anyone behind. Helping them keep those basic needs on, like uh, electricity, water, and for households with children, I've had people request, hey, just help me with the internet bill so that my kids can stay connected. Even one of our family members who was being evicted, you know, when I brought him food, it was like, you know, other people might need it more than me. Like we have so much humility from our families. Once I received the nicest emails of people like, I want to give back so that I can give it to other people. You know, that's the type of people we're dealing with. Like, it's, it's amazing. Understanding how dire things are and knowing exactly what kind of constraints these families are under, and yet still they're thinking about the next person. And that moves me very deeply. And it makes me feel really good in hearing how they are being helped by community. The fact that this fund even exists means that somebody thought and some, you know, these organizations came together and the people who have funded it has been like, there is a need here. So clearly folks are looking out for each other at every level folks recognize partnership is what will get us all, you know, the things that we need to get through this. And all of these are relationships of people who, that were brought together a lot because of the fellowship, but also community foundation work. And, um, you know, it's, we're all in Des Moines, we're all in Central Iowa, and if we're not holding up the, the, the least of us, the smallest of us, we're not taking care of the whole community. And I think that is the vision that Community Foundation and Mid-Iowa Health has. So we're really, really grateful for um, the Disaster Fund putting this together for us.